because let's get into some creature monster making stuff. And we're going to go through and kind of crowd source some a couple of ideas. And I want to hit two like monster style creatures today. So we want some attributes. So if you want to pop in the chat, um, like what kind of animal parts. So what I like about like films like Monsters, Inc. and stuff is they would take animals like uh, yaks or, you know, horned animals like giant cows, stuff like that. And they would start to incorporate all kinds of different things into creating their own monsters. So I'm going to start with T. T. Yes, you. I need two like well-known animal attributes. You know, you could do like horns or like, but be specific. Is it like cow horns? Is it a rhino horn? That kind of thing. I want two, two animal things, fur, scales. I don't know. Tease up, up to bat. It's T. Uh, oh, okay then. Um, feathered gull wings and uh, scales lizard scales i don't know <laughs> okay hold on, hold, on, hold on all right let's go with feathers on the one and then give me like a another thing that doesn't have to do with like covering so like uh claws horns blah uh, blah blah whatever like Eeks. like spikes down the spine there you go spine spikes okay by the way you can include dinosaurs in this all right, good job, T. Uh, let's go round the table. Liliana and Heather Rose, there's two of you, which means I get four answers. Um, what animal attributes, you know, so T said feathers or dinosaurs. I know it could be some even dinosaurs, but like big plate of things. So something like, think of like fur, horns, beak, claws, bleh, wings, whatever. I don't know. Give me something bat wings, teeth, fangs, I don't know. Let's see. I'll make this easy on you. One each. One each. Claws. claws? All right. <laughs> Let's go with claws. Heather Rose. Fangs. Fangs. That works. OK. Fangs, claws. Going around the table, Faye the fox of yore. I'll take, give me one attribute. Sorry, it's a little loud here. I don't know if you can hear, but anyway, um, a fox tail. There you go, fox tail. Okay. Uh, let's go to Avery. totally gonna ignore me now. Avery, one attribute. Six limbs. Wait, I didn't, it, it didn't come through. Which one? All right, we lost Avery. Let's go to Nathaniel. Uh, a wolf with a frog for an eye and he has a clam for a hand and he has the a skinny body and he has uh he has doors for feet okay that's a lot and that's awesome let's go to let's narrow it down to one can give me one attribute a frog frog like what about a frog a frog like eyeballs oh yeah the eyeball would be good okay all right frog's eyes Sounds like a concoction we would make at Hogwarts. All right. A frog's eye and a fox's tail and the claws of a hmm. And then potion. All right, let's go to Alex. Does Alex have an idea? Fox ears, all right. We'll go with fox ears, so like kind of furry fox ears. Jay. What about Jay? You can pop it in the comments too, if you want. Ram's horns, ooh, very good. All right, 
Rams horns. So Rams horns, way to be specific. All right, and then cat, one attribute. You can pop it in the chat. We're gonna wait for cat. Cat's gonna put in something. T, you should feel very honored because I made you do two and everybody else did one. <laughs> You're like honored, right? That's the word I would use. All right, I don't know. I don't see cat pop anything. I was gonna say outer gills, but I can't figure out how to type it. <laughs> well, that's fine. So gills, I like that. All right, gills. Okay, that works. Now we're gonna translate this into, and I'm, I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna go with a yak's fur. Like that's a super hairy animal. Right, so a yak's fur. So we have a we have some different coverings. We have some different attributes, like a tail, like a, specifically a fox tail, frog's eyes, fangs, claws. Now we're gonna build our own creatures. So here's what I'd like to do. I like to do one bigger one and one smaller one. Right. So think of like a henchman, right, and the boss. Little dude's gonna be the boss. Big dude's gonna be the henchman. And we want to kind of mix it up with some features on that. Yeah, I'm gonna explain this. So Nathaniel, what I want you guys to do is start off with a body shape. So for the for the big, and yeah, there we go, Scott. So if I'm going big, again, I'm, I'm going kind of super light on my pencil. Maybe I've got a body shape like so. And like that. All right, so there's my body shape for my big one. And then I'm going to go body shape for the small one. I know it's going to like a round ball is kind of like Mike Wazowski, but we're just going to start with a circle. Just a circle. We can do all kinds of things with that. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start, or uh, Nathaniel, we're going to start with the same of these shapes. And now from here, we're going to want to start to experiment with different features. So the nice thing about making our own creature, and, and from here, you can start to do your own thing, right? Or you can follow along in what I'm doing. So the nice thing about monsters and creatures is you can really make anything out of it. I'm going to go, I'm going to say that mo our monsters are looking straight at us. Okay. So I've got my kind of guiding lines here. And um, we're going to, I know I have frog's eyes for one. So I'm going to save, I'm going to save that for this. Maybe I'll start with the little dude. All right. So I've got some gigantic frog's eyes. Hey. Right, there you go, Nathaniel, we're starting off with yours. So in, if, you, if you go with frog's eyes, it's kind of like two big circles, right? And then you've got the, and you got the big kind of like, eye, they're not really eyelids, it's more of, it's kind of like what the eyebrow is. All right. Yeah. So, no. all right. So I'm going to make my, the top of my eye a little heavier in my line weight. All right, there we go. And we go two eyes. And I, I think this dude's going to be given kind of the, are you kidding me? Look, just a little bit. So we're going to go half half an eyelid on this. All right, that's a good enough start. So there's my frog's eyes. Now, uh, being that this dude is the boss, I'm gonna say that maybe his mouth is, we're gonna make his mouth kind of tiny. All right, so it's, it's not super big. It kind of goes from the middle of his eyeball on each side. And I think we're gonna add some nostrils in like right there. It wouldn't be a monster if we didn't have a little bit of fang action going on. All right, so there's 
there's kind of where we're rocking. And then he's got some teeth that he's got like a slight overbite. All right. I'll take a little line underneath for kind of the underside of his eye. All right, there's the beginning. Now we want to wrap out the rest of his body. And I know I have it kind of in a round circle. I'm thinking, I'm thinking he's got some bat's wings. It's gonna be my contribution. I'm gonna round out his body a bit and just give that a little bit more definition. So we're not like Mike Wazowski. And then we'll do some legs. All right, so there's his knees, his knobby knees, short little legs. He doesn't run very fast, that's what the wings are for. And we're gonna go bigger, bigger feet. So kind of bird-like, a little, a little bit of a, like a bird frog. Frog bird, bird frog, burf, it's a burf. There we go. All right. I'll give a little bit of claw action underneath. And bring the toes back. Okay, so I haven't covered them yet with anything. We're just kind of going scales. Now, uh, show of visible hands, wings and arms arms or hands in the wings or are they separate everybody for separate arms and wings raise your hand if you're not on camera that sucks for you all right i've got one for separate wings all right now and i got two all right yeah you can get the visible thumbs up i forgot we even had those things so now what about hands as a part of the wings raise of hands one two three wow lillian heather rose count as two so you're gonna have to beat that. All right, there it is, four. Hands as a part of the wings. So the kind of cool thing about that is I wanna, before I even get my wings in, I wanna start with kind of hand placement, right? And I'm gonna say boss man here has got a, a bit of a cane action going on. So the circle, right, he's holding on to that. And then uh, maybe we're, we're going to give a, another hand over here. And he'll be hanging on to something. I'm not exactly sure yet. Maybe it's a sign that says free hot dogs. We might do that. T likes free hot dogs. I don't know. That's just what I was told. OK, so I've got my hand placement. From here, I'm going to go elbow, uh, elbow down here, and I don't, it was, I made it up totally. I was going to say Scott did that, but then Scott's already on the call, and he would have been like, I never said that, and I've been like, all right, I can't back that up. All right, so I've got my arms. See, Scott even put on there, I never said that. I would have lost that, oh well. All right, so there's my arms. Now, as a part of the wings, so he's got, we're gonna have wings kind of coming off here. I've got some main connecting points. There we go. One off his elbow, one off here. So there's two. And just like that, we've popped wings in. The nice thing about starting with his hand placement is uh, that kind of, in, instead of just trying to draw wings and see where things goes, it gives it a, our drawing a little bit more intention and guidance. Sometimes we do that and it can look super oddly disproportionate. All right, so. I'm gonna 
you know what, actually, we're not going to make this hot dogs. We're going to say T, T for president. Little did you know, T, that you had a whole campaign squad that was here just for you. T for president. Let's hope I spell that right. All right. There we go. T for president. Ha <laughs> ha. This is this is the Tater Fan Club today. It's been a while. We got to do something. Missed you all. See, we're gonna get to the Liliana and Heather Rose for mayoral candidates or whatever. I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna go with it, but we're gonna go somewhere. It'll be the first time uh, sisters have ever run for the same office and been elected as co-mayors. And then uh, Nathaniel, I'm gonna make up something for you, don't worry. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so here we go. Chief garbage collector could actually be kind of fun if you think about it. All right, so let's get into, so we got this, that's kind of some detail. Let's add a little bit to the skin, if you will. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of ideas here. Um, I'm gonna say he's got bats wings. So, and I, I kind of wanna maybe, let's just go scales. Didn't somebody say scales? No, T said feathers and scales, and then we kind of nixed that idea. Let's go, um, let's go spots. Let's just show spots. Maybe like leopard spots. Student body prime minister, wow. Um, I would like to say Nathaniel could be the attache to Luxembourg. That is what I'm going to nominate Nathaniel for the attache for Luxembourg. All right, so I've got, I'm going to do this kind of like area around his mouth. All right, this is going to be one color. And then we've got all these spots on purpose. So we've got kind of like a leopard print going. There we go. A leopard print frog bat thing. All right, so we'll get some, I'm gonna give a little bit of variation here. Okay, there, boom, one monster. Uh, for the T for President fan club. I'll give a little bit of ground in the back. Okay, now we've got Gigantor over here and I'm gonna say we're, let's combine, and I'm not just saying this because this would be like a Sully mix, but I definitely think we should go Yak's fur, use Ram's horns, a foxtail. Let's get some claws in this. Um, thing this creature so that, that kind yeah. of answers the question in the chat different attributes for each one right yes yeah so th this one will be ram's horns which is kind of like it's kind of like a sully monster but not really ram's horns foxtail yaks fur and uh claws and i'm gonna say one eye one eye for this dude i yes i am rebranding sully this is the Chuck Jones Center for Creativity version of Sully. But this one has one eye. So it's like a giant. <laughs> no, you're fine. If you use all of them, you can totally use all of them. I'm I'm gonna go with a couple. Now I want to see what you guys do at the end. Especially since Jay used all of the features. So I'm gonna go one eyeball. And uh I'm gonna, this dude's looking up. So eyeball there. And notice that if my, it's not a perfect circle, 
because dude's looking up. And we'll just shade in a little bit of, oh, look at that, isn't that, isn't that nice? It looks, looks so pretty. Okay, it's a nice big eyeball. Let's go with some eyelashes just to keep the bugs out. I don't know if that's what eyelashes were ever intended for. I'm gonna say yes. All right, and then uh, go ram's horns. So ram's horns have that kind of spiral. I know these kind of look like Princess Leia buns to start with, but we're gonna go up and in. Now the cool thing about ram's horns also is it's got like that, they've got that kind of ribbed texture to them. So it's not perfectly smooth. So I'm gonna go like this. There we go, my ram's horns. All right, and connecting here on the head. If you are using all of the attributes, that's fine. All right, there we go. So there's kind of my, there's my ram's horns. All right, now I've got um, a couple of things. I think we're gonna go fox ears. So might as well put in these fox ears to the top. like that and then we'll give a little like the black tips as the color and we'll get some fur on the inside maybe a little fur kind of texture on the outside um and then i know i said yak fur so we'll start with the top There we go. Kind of covers around the eyeball a little bit. Okay. So I've got the start of mine. Um, we're gonna go kangaroo legs on this bad boy here. So kangaroo legs kind of Go up and over like this. And then we have, this is gonna be super interesting because this, this leg is gonna have to go behind. All right, so we got some giant kangaroo legs. I like wallabies personally. If I could own a wallaby, I would. Uh, I think it would make a fantastic pet. And you would feed it and give it some treats. I would feed it and give it some treats, yep. I Because water. I think they're down in like Australia anyway, I would get to speak Australian the whole time, like crikey. Then, crikey, you know, too right. I get to do that all day long to my wallaby. Ready? Then I would name yeah. Crocodile Dundee. That is what I would name my wallaby. It has nothing to do with crocodiles. By the way, has anybody seen Loki? Can I talk about that? No, here goes. Liliana and Heather Rose are going to tell me I can't talk about it. Yep, see, told you, called it. Man, like you haven't seen it at all or you haven't seen today's episode. Ben, if you get a wallaby, name him Rocco. Rocco, okay. All right, you haven't seen any of them. All right. Okay, we'll talk about it. Have you seen WandaVision? No. I don't really think it's giving it away. It's, it's not really giving anything away if I say this one thing, but I'm just not gonna say it for you guys, just for you. 
Loki is a phenomenally awesome series. And there is a part that would make totally sense to my Crocodile Dundee comment. Scott, have you seen it yet? I haven't seen any of it yet. Oh, wow. All right. Well, I can't say anything to you either. Fine, everyone. Fine. All right. This is going to be a girl. I think this is going to be a girl monster. Um, this will be a boy. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be a boy. This will be the girl. So we've got. Finished. Huh? Yeah. So we're going to do reverse fangs on this one. There we go. Um, there's a little, there's a little bug. Whee! And that's what she's looking at right now. See, there's a little bug right there. Oh, is it a fly? Yeah. All right. Now, um, we're going to have her hands on her knees Where is she? Okay. and just three fingers only and giant, giant claws. Now, I'll just tell you that she loves manicures. So these are painted claws. And given as we just celebrated the 4th of July, I'm going to say they are painted like American flags. Red. This monster is from, um, where should this monster be from? Uh, Missouri. Let's go with Missouri. You know, we just I, watched Infinity War. Star Lord's from Missouri. Daddy, I, I think Australia. OK. Wait, what's what's not based on North Mythology? Is Loki as good as WandaVision and Falcon and Winter Soldier? I think actually Loki is better than both of those series. And and I I, I enjoyed Falcon Winter Soldier. I thought it was good. Um, I thought WandaVision was better and Loki beats them all. Absolutely beats them all. All right, so let's see all the Avenger ones. Yeah. I think it's 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 film quality for sure storytelling like cinematic universe film quality so there's only one episode left next week oh you did a very good job i don't know what i draw i you drew monsters all right so i'm gonna put in some here i've got this foxtail and um so the foxtails have kind of like that big like there we go I think a white tip there. So this is my foxtail. Yes, yes. If you had to Australia, if you went to Australia. If I went to Australia, yes, while I'm drawing my monster. Yeah, you'd, you'd go and get a pet kangaroo. You'd give them water, go and give them some walk. You can compare it. Yes. And also you should name You're right. Hoppy Kangi. Hoppy Kangi. That would be interesting. All right. Wait. T, what are you saying? Someone else is watching this. T, are you watching? Wait. I love Bad Batch. Wrecker is my dude. I'm just, yes. Uh, right. right. I like Wrecker a lot. I am totally, I think the fact that Cad Bane is in the series and they brought him back in, I got to rewatch the last one because I'm not exact. I don't exactly remember what happened. Daddy, but I the fact that they're tying in so much star wars universe from um kind of like late in the prequels into into uh the original trilogy i think is pretty awesome all right the best and no one can change my mind just gonna say that yeah i'm not gonna try to change your mind because i would totally agree with you and i just got a 3d printer so my goal is to make myself a wrecker helmet I mean, come on. And then I have to paint it all up. What if you painted the whole all right. So what if you painted right the now we're testing back? it and we're making a dog. All right. So there's my, there's my yak fur. It's kind of covers the legs too a little bit. Yeah. And then we got these big old kangaroo feet. Hey dad. Yes. All right. Maybe if you had a pet tortoise, you would call them Swimmy. Yeah, I could do that. All right, so here we go. There's, there's the crew. T for president. Um, this monster's the muscle. Small. This monster right here is in charge of T's security. Nothing will happen to T as long as this monster is around. 
Okay. All right, let me get this dude's cane in here. Yep. All right, there we go. We've got a cane. Give a little shadow underneath. The cane? Wait, where's the cane? Cane's right there. All right, give a little shadow underneath here. And I'll just shade in <coughs> part of the tail. Doesn't have to be super detailed. Okay, so that's my duo. Done, I signed my name. So now, now it's time for show and tell. Yeah, so, oh, do, would you like to show? Okay. Yeah. This, this one would like to show and then we'll go to Nathaniel. All right, well, you gotta hold it up in front of the camera. No, no, like closer, closer. Wow, look at that. Those are some pretty awesome monsters. Is that right side up now? I think you did a very good job. Oh, and wow. You, right? Not bad for a five-year-old. Okay, um, Mr. Wizard, I'm gonna let you control the flow of traffic. Here's Kat up first. Um, so this is just a random monster. It doesn't really have any of the components except I made brand thorns. Nice, I like it. It's very sketchy. Hey, you know what? It's a monster. It's, it's, it's supposed to be a creature. I think you've done a very good job. It's like lion or cheetah or something. And then gorilla. And then lion head rabbit. Mm, that existed. Most people probably. And Branford. <laughs> Love it. I like the fact that you added rabbit's ears. I think that's pretty cool. Kind of like cute and fluffy and then you want to pet it and then it hits you with the ram's horns and then you don't want to pet it anymore because now you broke a rib. <laughs> yeah. all right good job good job cat let's go to uh nathaniel i think he needs to turn his camera on there he is check that out love it so we've got some horns is that now do we go like monkey and giraffe it's a monkey love that it's a what it's a monkey a monkey that's a wicked looking monkey man so i would like a pet monkey also not a big one just a little one something that could you know oh wallaby rocco <laughs> yeah i could well i have a wallaby that would jump around but the monkey would get me stuff from the fridge like hey dave i'd name my monkey dave Dave, I need you to get me a Coke from the fridge, please. Dave would go get it. All right, Lilian and Heather Rose. Um, okay, so I didn't know that I should do separate ones, so here's my first one, which was just using all of them. <laughs> nice. Good job. That's a lot of mashing up to do. I think you did spectacular. Here's another one. Yes. See that looks that would almost freak me out at night. Oh, check that out. I like that. I like the horns with the beak and the fur. Well done, man. That looks cool. I just did the one. Let me see if I can turn down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Wait, what do you have in there? We got wings, a giant foxtail. Wow, dude, you combined a lot too. That looks awesome. I feel like I underperformed and I didn't include enough stuff. You guys did great. All right, let's go to Jay. Here's Jay. All right, Jay, let's see what you got. Hey, uh, it is kind of weird. And I was too lazy to draw. Yeah. So I well, put everything it's, else. I it's mean, a monster creature. It's supposed to be weird. Nice. Y'all did way better on your wings than I did. My wings are a little lame. That looks cool, man. I dig it. All right. Anybody else? Faye. Well, I only got to drawing one. That's okay. I, here it is. 
Oh, that looks awesome. It almost looks like you could like sell that as a print, you know, for like those onesie PJs that are furry. That yeah. would be cool. Yeah, it's like a, he has a weird growth on his head, which he thinks is a crown because <laughs> he's very, uh, he focuses on his ego. <laughs> uh, so he has kind of a royalty complex. Yeah, he wears like a mink coat and nice polished leather shoes. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh man, that, that's great. All right, uh, anybody else? I think we have Alex, if you want to show Avery. Uh, here's, here's Tater. T. Hello, uh, it's a little hard to tell what's going on, so I tried to define it with color, but uh, have this terrifying monstrosity. Oh my goodness. It's like it would eat my brains at night. Uh, yeah, probably would. Which, it wouldn't be much of a meal, but still. That looks awesome. I like the fact that you incorporated the back spikes. I was trying, I, I just did a front view, so you can't, you know, there's nothing really to see on there. I like the fact that you kind of did an angle. Well, well done. Well done. All right, so uh, if anybody else wants to show, there's a couple left, that's cool. If not, no worries. So my whole thing with creatures and monsters was to do stuff in kind of like a theme-ish, you know, sort of. This was just the getting our ideas and stuff out there. Next week, I'm going to do um, cute cuddly monsters. Mm, they're adorable. And uh, I want to start with drawing some cute cuddly animals. Like, so like we take some real life stuff and we mash it up a little bit and make a very cute, cuddly, you know, Furbies are not cute and cuddly uh, and they're annoying and they freak you out when the toy goes off in the middle of the night. But we'll do something with cute, cuddly monsters. Uh, then we're gonna go to the la the third week, I'm gonna do like straight up freak you out monsters. Uh, and then we're actually gonna put these in settings. So the cute, cuddly ones I want in a setting, the scary one goes in a setting and we're gonna kind of build our little world about that. And then the last one is gonna be a tag team monstrosity, which means I'm gonna tag Faye and be like, Faye, I challenge you to draw a blank. And then you have to draw that. And it's kind of like ultimate art tag, but with a twist. So we will create our own monster universe based off that. And we'll put each other on the spot because nothing freaks people out more than being put on the spot, except for me. because. I'm sadistic like that. Okay, um, Avery, ooh, let's show that. Check that, all right, tell me what you have going on. Um, it's just my Enderman uh, character that I've made up, uh, so yeah. Nice. It's a hybrid, it's not straight an Enderman, but. I dig it. Well done, man. Yeah. Absolutely, all right, so, um, I'll say this every time, keep drawing, keep drawing, draw everything, uh, real life, comic stuff, whatever, just keep drawing. There is no substitute for practice, especially if you love to do it. And sometimes it can be frustrating because you might have a kind of a creative block, just draw through it. Um, I can tell you from personal experience and professional experience, because I don't get paid unless I get the work done, you will find a way. Uh, so. I think we've got Daryl up tomorrow. I'm pretty sure Daryl's up tomorrow. And then we have back to four of us next week. So I'm going cute, cuddly monsters. We're going to draw some real life stuff, sketching out quick to kind of get basic shapes and stuff down. So I'll have a sheet on that that we'll go from and uh, do some thumbnail sketches of some real life animals. And then we're going to bust into the cute, cuddly ones. So with the idea of could we make a toy and would it make millions of dollars selling in Target? or whatever fine retailer you would decide to shop at. Uh, it was great to see you all. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and we will see you next week. Later dudes. Thank you. Bye, thank Welcome. you Ben. Bye everyone. Thank you, bye. Bye guys. Bye.